Oh, I'm live. <laughs> I'm sitting here staring at myself, waiting for it to be live. But I added one of these frames because I didn't know that on Facebook Live, there's all these frames. And I actually know the woman that created this one. She's got three or four of them on here. I know actually several of the people and the entities that have created several of these, a lot of these frames. And I'm like, I didn't even know that was a thing that you could do. So I believe that for the Women's Summit, I will be creating our own frame for our Facebook Lives because I think that would be awesome to have our own frame. So I will probably contact my friend who created this one and ask her how she did it or I can figure it out myself. But I'm learning that it's more important to go find out who can do certain things than to learn how to do them all myself. And that leads into today's topic, which is all about, let me sneak a drink, doing what I teach people to do, doing what I say, not just going through the motions of things that aren't really moving me in the direction I want to move. And we all do that. We all go through phases of that. I'm pretty awesome at, if I say I'm going to do something, I do it. But I haven't actually said I'm going to do certain things. And so I've been letting myself off the hook and not doing them. And today I changed all that. I, I went back to the drawing board of my little handy dandy notebooks and a good old fashioned piece of paper. And I started mapping out my strategy for the next, well, till the end of the year and a little bit thereafter as I roll out this Women's Summit. We're doing a Women's Summit for a couple of main reasons. Number one, I have been personally all over the place with what I'm doing in my online businesses and who I'm sharing with and how I'm sharing. I know that is the number one cardinal sin of creating an online business. You need to have a target audience and ideal customers and ideal clients that you want to work with and you need to go out and find them. And so working on the Women's Summit is my step in that direction so that I can start doing what I know I should have been doing all along and what I've been teaching all my coaching students to do all along. And so I kind of want to just slap myself with a wet noodle and say, hello, you need to do what you say you're doing. So the first thing I did today is I went back and I revisited the Epiphany Bridge script and I started to map out between now and the end of the year, the topics of and the actually plan out strategically how I'm going to share on my Facebook lives every day or on my Instagram TVs or on my podcast or wherever I'm going to be publishing. Since I'm publishing every day, I need to do it in a consistent thought out way. I've got the consistency down. I've got the doing it down. You know, I do it every day, but I have not been specifically and strategically planning out what I'm sharing and what I'm delivering and done it in any way that makes sense to anyone except my brain, which definitely thinks differently than probably the vast majority of people on the planet. But don't all of us think that we think differently than the vast majority of people on the planet? Because we do. We all think differently. We all have had different experiences. We've had different emotions. We've done different things and been exposed to different things that cause us to think differently, cause us to believe differently, cause us to feel differently about sometimes about the same exact thing. Every single one of us feels differently about how and what we need to do to go about and grow and supersize our business. And so instead of trying to help everybody on the planet supersize and grow their business, I will be helping women primarily. And I still have got a bunch of men that I'm working with, so I'm not dumping anybody, but women as going through this women's summit and helping them to grow and build the business that they want, the business that they dream of, the way that they want to change the world and have an impact on the world. And tomorrow I will share what it's called my epiphany bridge story or my why. Why am I even doing this? Why do I care about women business owners, other women business owners? Why do I want to create this women's summit to help them? What's in it, you know, for them and why would they even want to participate in it? So I'll share that Epiphany Bridge story tomorrow because I'm going to follow my own plan and my own structure instead of just winging it since that's what I teach everybody else to do. And part of that challenge is to come up with, I've been challenged by a group of people to, the theme of this first Women's Summit based on questioning and surveying and asking and talking to women business owners is all about customers because their number one challenge, their number one Thing that they think is the most important that they get a handle on is things with respect to customers. So as part of that customer thing, I did a 30 day challenge with a group of Cliff Funnels people called One Funnel Away. And I created a five step, the five best ways to get customers for free. It's a video series. It's a five day video series. And I did it in five days so people would actually consume it, 
and then do it and then consume it and then do it. Because I found that in the last year and a half moving online, the number one thing that holds people back is they consume and consume and consume and just get inundated with information. But that causes them to freeze and never take any action. So I've structured this so that you get a little bite, you take the action that's described in it. You get another little piece of information, you actually do and apply the information. And you do it in little bite-sized pieces. And the first one is to set up, and I'm not going to tell you because I'm going to roll that out and show you how we're doing it over the next probably, I don't know, the next few days as I map out the strategy of the content I'm going to be sharing and then implementing and putting that into place and rolling it out because I think that there's a lot to be learned from this. I've learned a lot of these pieces and put them together from a bunch of different sources and a bunch of different incredibly successful people and I want to go ahead and share them with you and all the other women who want to grow their business and the challenge is to get 5,000 people to visit that site for free. No advertising dollars. I can't pay for any of it. I can't um, use any money and it's not even using other people's money. I cannot pay for well, I guess I can probably use other people's money, but it's not like in real estate where you use other people's money by borrowing the bank's money or something. You can't go get venture capitalists or do a, a GoFundMe or something. I have to do it the non-money way. And that means, of course, that I have to spend my time and my energy and my effort in doing it because nothing is free, right? Even though things are free, they're not really free. We have to at least give it our time and our attention and we have to listen to and consume the information. So we're investing our time, even if we're not investing our money. So that's it. That's what I'm working on today. I'm obviously a little bit excited about it because I am adding a component of purpose and structure to what I'm doing. And I think that that is going to be extremely educational for me and for everybody else that I've been trying to help and that I do help. That's it. Have a fantastic day. Of course, I will be with you tomorrow. Bye.